Hi, welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. <clears throat> I'm Jeff Rappaport. Matthew Gibbons. Dominic Himes. <clears throat> and I'm Bart from Malicious Intent. Right, we're back for part <clears throat> two. Two. All right. All right. Now, what's your uh, favorite 70s game show and why? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right, let's get going on this old. one. Yeah, let's do, um, yeah, right? <laughs> Are we that old? I guess so, because we're both bite, <laughs> chomping at the bit to answer it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get on it. I really liked um, uh, um, the dating game, the original dating game. Mm. And uh, that one in uh, uh, $100,000 Pyramid. That, damn it. Yeah, $100,000 That's sorry. what I'm flipping this table. So <laughs> table. <laughs> now, you didn't realize I was on the dating game, right? Were you? Oh, yeah. I I Were you really? Yes. Yeah. It was in the 80s, but yes, yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I did see that one. That was great, man. I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Dude, I wanted to win that when you were on it so bad. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping I was one of the contestants that night. I was like, man, he's dreamy. I was wishing that I was out of my body and not on that show when I look back at that video. <laughs> <laughs> now i got to tell you, my, my all-time favorite game wasn't necessarily from the 70s, but Pressure Luck. You know what I mean? That was the greatest game ever. Oh, with the whammy? Yeah. No whammies. No whammies. Yeah. yeah, big yeah. money, no, no whammies. <laughs> and stop. Stop at 300 yes. in a free spin. It's like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what? And then there was the guy that uh, that ended up figured out on the old board the patterns and ended up winning like some ridiculous amount, like $100,000. But he went so long, I watched a documentary on it that his, you know, you can actually see this guy almost physically passing out, playing pressure luck, because he's trying to concentrate on where these the squares are going. So, yeah, I like that game a lot. Damn. That's a good answer. Yeah. Thank you. In fact, I don't even need one now because he Yeah, yeah, he, he, he took all your answers. <laughs> he really did. He just sat here and agreed. Like, he didn't even talk about hundred thousand dollar pyramid, which was my answer, but whatever. We'll go ahead and talk about yeah, it. Yeah, talk about yeah, it. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no there's yours. no need now. There's no need now. Do you like the bar? Which one? The hundred thousand dollar bar? Never mind. That was a math thing. Yeah, I think you should be laughing at least. I did. You mean hundred oh. the hundred grand bar? Hundred yeah. grand. Yeah. yeah. Oh. See, you didn't say it right now. Yeah. See, I'm like, how did you, you ever see that commercial? I'm terrible at puns. You treat all your guests <laughs> like this. <laughs> I'm like the worst puns thrower. That's why I think yeah. Do you ever see that commercial for that? It was, it's probably about like five, six years old where it's like <clears throat> these older guys, like they're old gangsters are sitting around and it's like, what's the split? No split, hundred grand, hundred grand, hundred grand, hundred grand for everybody. Yeah. And then his granddaughter shows him a bag full of candy bars. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Really funny. I like it. That yeah. is that's what I live for. I'm more of a watch McCall. You should have been mine. I'm a fifth yeah. avenue guy. Yeah, watch McCall is a good candy bar. I like Absolutely. Yeah. I like watch McCall. I like, I like the sky bar because it has like a different each one has yeah. square has a different drink yeah. in it. Yeah. Mm. You ever have it? No. Sounds it has like one has fudge in it, one has peanut butter yeah. in it. And what's the other one? The, each little marshmallow. bar marshmallow. marshmallow. Yeah. You don't know, you're gonna eat it up and eat it. Yeah. It's like a Whitman sampler. Yeah, it's like a Whitman sampler in a bar. In a little it's left up to yeah. It's <laughs> left up to fate or Jesus. Notice, yes. <laughs> Notice how I chimed in on every Chaos theory lines. takes over wow. when you buy one of those. It's because the guy from like, Beautiful mm. Minds calculating which person to get. Writing equations on windows. Yes. It's the peanut butter one. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I like to that in the Necco Church wafers. I like that. Yeah, Necco <laughs> Church wafers. Yes, that's what they Yeah, it's way better. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of the Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. Triangle candy bar. Oh. You're a fancy fucker. Oh. Yeah, man. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You're a fancy fucker. Oh, oh. 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 I grew up in a tomber. Here's my philosophy. If you know you're going to eat this candy bar and it's a gazillion calories and ain't going to do nothing but put more fat in your chips, <laughs> yeah. you might as well do it right and enjoy yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I like that. Awesome. You know, anybody, any schmo can eat a snack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. my philosophy. Though. What about dark? Yeah, I'm with that because, like, when I want a burger, I'm like, I'm not gonna bother with McDonald's yeah. anymore. I'm gonna get exactly. five guys. Yeah, with exactly. Elevation or something. God, get like a burger that's gonna be just retarded good. Yeah, absolutely. It's not twenty five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and three dollars extra for a right. slice of lettuce. Yeah. yeah. Right. What do you guys think of like you know when you get dark chocolate? You guys put, like dark dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Dark chocolate. Hershey how, special dark. Yeah. How 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 high do you like the percentage of cocoa? Do you ever like try to get higher? Hundred and ten. 
Because if you get to it, I'll just eat it when it's dirt. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's green. <laughs> it's not even a bar. It anymore. tastes like that. You <laughs> open it up, it spills yeah. on a plate. And you just snort it. And it's, yeah, you know. <laughs> we got it to like nine. We got like ninety one time. And it was awful. Did you? Yeah, it was oh, like, yeah. Oh, it is. Wow. It gets brutal. About it, it. Like, it was like it was like gritty and yeah. Yeah. I, I like the dark chocolate with the little bacon bits in it. Oh my god, you had that yet? Oh my god, no, but it sounds. It's not, it's not bacon bits. It's like a full. Like, well, it, no, it's real bacon, bacon. but it's like little pieces crumbled up. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Yeah. Chocolate covered bacon. Shut bar. up. Yes, you ever had it? sir. I want it. Let's I'll get it for now. next week. We should have it for next week's show. Just, we'll, let's buy one for next week's show. Next week's show, nothing. Uh, we're taking a break. We're going to break the room and get the store to the store for a little bacon. Cut. Yeah. Just sit here on the couch for the next six minutes. <laughs> yeah, sit here with our chocolate beers, all just <laughs> loving each other. A yeah, bit. yeah. All covered up in chocolate <laughs> bacon. Chocolate like, like, where were you guys? Oh, oh wide eyed and like, like a beer. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell you what, man. Uh, with the dark chocolate, you know, uh, it smells good, it tastes good when you get some of but. Uh, I deliver to a lot of places at House Cocoa Beans, <laughs> just in the big, giant, 100-pound burlap bag. The smell of it's absolutely disgusting. If you see how they warehouse this crap, you probably wouldn't eat chocolate, period. Wow. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, there's all like rats and stuff running around. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, you know. The, uh, the, uh, the um, vermin control boxes are like this big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, when you walk, most places you'll get a little mouse trap that's like about that size. Right. There, it's like they got to catch the rat and the tail. They use trackers from the yeah. zoo to catch them. <laughs> yeah. If you guys plastic they, things they use here with hunters yeah. to catch them. Yeah. yeah. If you guys ever look at the book of lists, <clears throat> do you ever read the book of lists when you were young? Mm -hmm. It's it's a, it's almost like Guinness book, but it's like a, it's just a book of like real list of things, and they have one of them is ten things that are allowed in chocolate, and, oh, what, yeah. and it'll say like like what percentage of rat droppings yeah. is allowed in there, rat spider hair, rats. yeah, 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 spider oh, eggs and all that, and you're like looking at it like really, yeah. like it has a lot of lists, like like there's all kinds of lists, but that, I remember that one always stood out to me when I was a kid. Yeah. I was like, ew, <laughs> chocolate, yeah. Well, you know, it's funny you say that because. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my wife doesn't like me talking about it, but my father worked for Heinz for many years while they were in Salem, and he moved, we moved out to Ohio with Heinz, and, you know, he would tell us, you know, we get a list of what, what's acceptable percentage <laughs> right, of, yeah. you know, when your tomatoes come in, they have, some of them have, uh, you know, you get field rodents, insects, all that Worms, stuff, and yeah. Yeah. they can't get rid of all of it, so no. a certain percentage has to go There's in. There's a minuscule it. amount in everything right. you eat, yeah. Right. That's why people get so crazy about germs and like that. Like, that's you know, not to think about. Suck it up. Yeah. That's yeah, like we're gonna cut up. Rat, Stop being a pussy. Rat yeah. tails and put them in our new CD. And yeah, like, yeah. Look, there's an acceptable <laughs> amount of music of. You know, yeah. that's in this <laughs> there is no limit to how yeah. many rats you can have on your CD. Yeah, that's that's be great. Got it's like the rat tail hanging out. Yeah. And a finger and like a, a, a bloody ring. Just be like, look. Come yeah. on, we can't control all you this. You could tie. You could tie Man the the tail into like a thing where you could hold it. Hold it like this. Yeah. <laughs> Twirl the CD around. Yes. Woo! It's no one <laughs> What's the worst tattoo you've ever seen on somebody? Oh, oh God. Go ahead. I'll let you go first. Do you ever see somebody tattooed? I don't know. Any of you guys got tattoos? No, I don't, I don't want to insult you. No, I got no tattoos. Ugh. Dude, the little panther guy, like, you know, that everybody had at one time is not good. A lot of tribals, not good. Um, Poor the tribal tri report. That would be good. Yeah. Somebody should get one of those. Oh, yeah. If somebody does that out there, yeah. they get automatically to be a guest on the show. Yeah, yeah. Get that, that tattoo behind you. Yeah, there you go. Get that tattoo. Thank you. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. yeah. If you get awesome. that tattoo, you can have a permanent spot on the couch. You can be here forever. Yeah. Especially if you get it on your head. I'll have to do some bad yeah. things for the money, but I'll get it. Well, speaking of head tattoos, i got to tell you. You know i got to tell this story. Oh, All right, so, so this is our band logo. That's our band logo tattooed on my arm, okay? Now, three, three of the four founding members had a tattoo, and, and then certain of our real diehard followers would get the tattoo. A couple guys got on their legs. Our, uh, our uh, second-gen drummer, Justin, got it on him. Um, we had these two guys, these two brothers, and uh, uh, one, one got it on his head, and the other one got it on his neck on the side. And the guy got it on his neck first so they took his brother down and now this guy we we, we <coughs> call him um glow worm because he's super pale so yeah. if you remember a glow worm if you would take everything like the yeah. clothes off of it and light it up it'd just be real pale so right. that's just what we called it <laughs> so they put the template and it was a big template of this logo on his head and they, and they drew it out and he goes <laughs> yo guys what do you think and the, the guys are like yeah it looks great well it was upside down oh my god 
So you're talking a pale white dude with a black tattoo of our mother. As soon as he walked through the door, we're just sitting there like, you know that's upside down, right? It's like, yeah, we know. We didn't know until after he got done printing it. I said, how? He had two guys with him. Like, how did you? How do you not know that that's going the on? Spotter, <laughs> yeah, we yeah. blame you like, more for like life. at least one more eyes. Time. Yeah, he, he goes, hey, it go. how's it look, fellas? And they go, oh, it looks great. <laughs> Just stand in the mirror for the rest <laughs> yeah, of the night. Yeah, you You'll know. be okay. <laughs> Good thing is though, he shaves his head so you can see it all the time. You know, if you walk in the room like a chick from Exorcist, nobody will even know. You know what I mean? Do the yeah. stair crawl. Like, nobody will know. <laughs> oh, the upside down crab crawl? <laughs> yeah. That's great. All right. On that note, we're going to take a quick break. All right. Another break.